Martin for the second half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of information there. Please go check that out. Uh, past playlists also, links to those are available in the description box. So there's tons and tons of stuff there. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I've gotten so many. Thank you so much for all your support. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is greatly, greatly appreciated. All your support really does mean a lot to me and this channel wouldn't grow without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for helping it to grow and flourish and get these messages out to the people that really need to hear them. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Taurus, love connection reading, second half of September. This can be any type of connection, anybody, any type, whoever you have in mind. So nothing specific, any kind of connection. So we'll see what we get here. So we're almost, well, we're going into fall already. Can you believe that? Going into fall already. I hope everybody's doing well, getting ready for fall going to decorate for uh, Halloween and the fall season. All right, so this is a Zodiac Oracle. So if you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. If you clicked on the link, then there's probably something in here meant for you. So, but let's see what we get with the Zodiac Oracle for Taurus Spirit, please. Can we have one? That's two. Hmm, no, I just want one. And I don't want to behave. One for Taurus, please. One for Taurus. If not, I'm just going to pick one. And we'll pick that one. All right. Gemini. So some of you Taurus people may be dealing with a Gemini. Or they could have Gemini in their chart somewhere. If you know their uh, chart at all, there is a link below to uh, get your free birth chart. So if you would like to do that... Okay, so with this deck here, first thing I'll do is get an overall love connection energy between the two of you, and then I'll get one card for you, one card for them, how you were both feeling about the connection, how you're feeling about each other, and then bottom of the deck energy, clarify with tarot, the whole situation, and then we'll get even more messages with this other oracle here. So, All right, so what's the basic overall love connection energy like for Taurus in their person. Wow, okay. So we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate, so you could be dealing with a soulmate here, may differ from your usual type and expectations. So there may be somebody here that you're not really, like you may feel attracted to them in some way, but maybe you're not acknowledging it because they're different than your usual type or you may have somebody coming into you in the future that's a soulmate and you may not give them even a notice because they're not your usual type so keep telling you to keep your eyes your ears open keep an open mind open heart to those around you all right so let's see so obviously though if you're single and you don't have a connection then um, I don't know this is for people that have some sort of connection uh, with somebody so I guess if you're watching this and you're single this could be a possible connection in the future I guess but all right so oh that's three that's too many so one card for Taurus please spirit how is Taurus feeling about their person and the connection spirit please thank you so much one card take that one and then one card for the person okay passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so whoever this is you have attraction to them chemistry there's a lot you feel a lot of passion with this person and how about your person deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship so 
It could even be them who is not opening up to the connection because you are different than their usual type. So they're not really letting on here how they truly feel. That could be a scenario here. All right. But you definitely, definitely are attracted to this person. But they're, I think, hiding how they truly feel. And bottom of the deck, we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you def definitely have romantic feelings and passion. And then under that, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So... So that could be, so I definitely feel here that you definitely have romantic feelings and passion and they need to give this a chance. I think they're hiding how they truly feel because in their mind you're too different than the usual type and maybe they're thinking it wouldn't work or, you know, they're just uh, ignoring it. All right, so... get some clarity here with the tarot we'll see what's going on for you Taurus all right so let's clarify passion for Taurus so we have the six of swords so ear energy here and here's the Gemini so if you are dealing with the Gemini here's their energy in your energy here with passion so you definitely want to go into a better place uh, with them six of swords talks about going into a more comfortable, peaceful place and leaving difficult times in the past. Or this just could be an energy of moving forward to a better place. So you're definitely wanting to move forward with this person into a better place. All right, so let's get one for your person. Why is deception here for Taurus's person? Second half of September. Why is deception here, Spirit, please? Thank you so much for Taurus's person. And one card. Prince of Wands. So they could be a fire sign if they're not Gemini. Um, I believe this is the Knight of Wands. So maybe this... Uh, Maybe, you know, if you are seeing or dating this person, it's a very in and out type of connection and maybe they don't want to fully commit or date exclusively. The Knight of Wands here can be a very um, kind of like a player or someone who's just in and out, in and out. Like they come and they leave and they don't stay. Uh, but someone who is fiery and passionate here and exciting. So, I mean, they may have deeper feelings and they're leading on, but I feel like they could just come together to have some fun and then leave. And that's why we have here to give the relationship a chance and to work on it instead of just coming and going and leaving and here. And you're really developing, along with the passion, you're really developing feelings for this person. And you're wanting this to go to a better place than just this player energy in and out, in and out that it is now. You're wanting it to move forward to a more uh, more balanced place, a more, um, yeah, that's your wish and your dream. Here, Nine of Cups, Water Energy, wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy. You see the fiery, passionate connection here. So when you come together, it's very fulfilling, but when they leave, you know, it's like, so yeah, your wish, your hope, your dream here is to move forward with this person to a better place, but they have this um, kind of player in and out energy. Princess of Pentacles. So, I mean, they could be thinking this is the Page of Pentacles, and this does talk about, um, you know, a stable offer, stable, secure offer for the future. And that's Earth, and you are Earth, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So I definitely feel like here, I think they want to offer you more. But I think they're too scared to commit just yet in some way. So for now, they're just coming in and out, in and out, and not really telling you how they truly feel. And uh, But in the back of their mind here, they do have these thoughts of offering you more. Huh. All right. So let's see. Wow. What do we have here? 
All right, so, all right, we'll use those as clarifiers. So we'll use this as the actual situation. So we have the Queen of Wands, again, over here, connected to you with passion, fire energy. The Sun, connecting to the two of you, so that's nice. And then the Magician, well, so, and this is um, Gemini Virgo energy. So the Queen of Wands, fire energy, very fiery, passionate, go-getter type of energy. So you're definitely feeling not only there, you know, it would be a wish come true, there'd be happiness and joy to move forward with this person, again, with the passion. Queen of Wands, very fiery, passionate energy, and you have passion right there. And then they do have the Magician here, so I do feel like this is manifesting a brand new beginning. So I do feel like, you know, they do want to do that, but for some reason, they're wearing this mask, and they're not really telling you what they want. Or either that, or they're planning on something to... Uh, come forward to you to offer you more and they're not really letting that letting it on to you so you know I, I don't know different messages here so but then we have the Sun which is Leo energy but it doesn't have to be so this is between the two of you connecting the two of you so this is you know victory success happiness and joy you know children family growth expansion you know everything everything the happiest most positive card in the deck so you two both, you know, are like the sun to each other, very happy and joyous, victorious kind of energy that you have together when you are together. You know, and there is the possibility of, you know, this page is on their side of offering something more and manifesting that. You're very passionate, fiery about them, wanting to move forward, wish and dream come true with them. Is your wish and dream come true? So let's get more clarity for your situation. So we have temperance here and the two of cups. Wow. So this is Sagittarius energy, more water energy here. It's just energy, so don't get too caught up with the signs. But temperance here is about reuniting, coming together. It's about peace and healing and patience, balancing energy, being very balanced. So... You know, they could either balance you out, I mean, when you are together, but you definitely want things to balance out here. You know, you want peace and harmony and balance with this person. Um, I do feel like here you feel like they're, they are your divinely guided soulmate here with the temperance, and you definitely do want to reunite, come together with them would be that your wish come true. And then <laughs> they have the same energy on their side with the Two of Cups. Two people coming together, soulmate union. Two people uniting as one. This is a love union here with the Two of Cups. So, wow. So why they're wearing this mask, I, I just don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Just need a drink of water. So... I feel like deep down, they definitely do have feelings for you with the Two of Cups. They st see stability, security, and they want to offer that with you also moving forward. And they want to manifest it. Happiness and joy here. Soulmate energy with the sun also. A lot of fiery, passionate energy with them and with you. But they come and they go and they don't really... It's like they want to, but maybe they just have fear. Uh fear of this for some reason is what I'm getting they secretly want it deep down they want it you know they secretly want it but they're wearing that mask so they're not really telling you or showing you uh, fully because I think they have a little bit of fear because you see the Sun here but yet he's turning his head from the Sun but the Sun is here also and it's a much bigger brighter Sun all right, so let's see what your advice is, Taurus, in this situation. What's your advice, Taurus, in this situation, in this love connection, second half of September? Okay. So let's see what your advice is. So we have the Chariot and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So the chariot is an energy 
of moving far very quick and fast, um, being very goal-driven, having balance, energy, being very successful, and moving forward a lot of drive and ambition. This is moving forward very quickly. But then you have the Queen of Pentacles, which is your energy. So that's the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And, you know, that's a very stable, secure energy. So you may have to be the one to uh, move this forward. You may have to be the one to, with the Page of Pentacles here, make some so sort of small gesture forward. Like, can we take this one step up instead of just like randomly coming together, having some fun and that's it. Can we maybe just exclusively date, you know, maybe not commit, you know, pentacles are very slow energy. So, I mean, the chariot is about moving forward very quickly, but pentacles are very slow. And with the temperance here of balancing things out. So, you know, even though you may be wanting to move forward very, very quickly with this person, I think you, you're going to have to take a very slow, practical approach and have patience. Temperance is also about patience, very balanced patient energy. So as hard as it may be, as much as you want to rush this forward with them, you're just going to have to be very patient and kind of take a slow, practical approach with this person. <clears throat> so let's get more clarity for your advice. So we have the Prince of Swords and the Five of Swords. So, and the Prince of Swords, again, is the Knight. That's the Knight of Swords. So, so again, that's an energy. It's like almost like the Chariot, except the Knight of Swords can be sometime um, irrational, can like rush in and speak truths and just say what's on their tongue and they're not really thinking and not really... Uh, thinking about what they say or do and sometimes they can hurt others and cause trouble so don't get you know balance out your energy and don't come forward in that kind of um, energy that's also an energy of you know maybe you're watching them online uh, keeping tabs on one another see what they're doing on their social media trying to find out information about them and then we have the five of swords so this is kind of an energy of win at all costs so we have Two cards of air energy here. So this is like winning at all costs. You don't care how you do it. Uh, getting ahead by any means. So <laughs> with that energy, with also the Prince of Swords of like rushing in and causing havoc. And then the Chariot of like rushing forward. But then you have this Queen of Pentacles, a very slow practical. So in with the Temperance there, very, um, as much as you want it, like I said, rush forward. You need to balance out your energies and take a slow practical approach with this person baby steps <clears throat> but you may be the one to have to come forward and say something and say hey you know I really like you um, you know can we like I said just date exclusively or something like that you know very slow baby steps okay so let's get a possible outcome for you Taurus in this situation What's the possible outcome for Taurus in these situations for please? All right. So we have strength. So this is Leo, but it doesn't have to be. So this is being strong, courageous, brave, having willpower, determination, uh, taming the beast. So you may tame this beast. <laughs> you may tame this beast. And it's also an energy of knowing when to withdraw, hold back, when to move forward, when to not, when not to move forward. So, you know, having all, the, all that strength inside you to do what you need to do here. And then we have the King of Swords, and then we have the Three of Cups. So I think you will approach them. Here's the King of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And here's the reuniting. Coming together, rejoicing, having fun um, together. So I think that, you know, you probably will, you know, muster up your courage here and approach this person say hey can we get together and have some very truthful open honest conversation here about your um connection wanting it to move forward you know a little bit more than what it is now you know and also this uh sword you can use it to cut things out no longer serving you so 
you know, you can take this sword to sever the tie with them if they don't want to give you um, what you're asking or they're not open to keep an open mind and they don't want to give it a chance, then you can use this sword to cut them out. But standing up for yourself, having that truth and clarity, open, honest communication, and not taking any BS. But you may come together here and reunite, come together, have a drink or two, discuss this with the King of Swords energy, stand your ground with strength, you know, be strong. All right. I don't know why I'm shuffling just to the bottom of the deck. So the moon. So <laughs> Cancer Pisces. So, you know, again, you don't know how they feel because they're wearing this mask. You know, the moon is kind of like, an, it's an illusion. You can't see clearly. You don't see what's really going on because you can't see fully. But you do have the sun here right in the middle of the spread. So things will come to light eventually. Um, I mean, they have the sun behind them, but they're not really focused on it right now. But you may bring the sun to their attention as you've got the sun behind you here. So, and they may finally see the light because the light here is shining out of their eyes and it's right connected to them. So I think light will be shed on the situation with the moon here and the mask. I think that will come off and you may get the answers that you want here. So the Four of Swords, yeah. So this is, you know, taking a time out and healing, recuperating. So, you know, again, maybe that energy of them coming in and then leaving and then you feel heartbroken, you know, and you kind of like have to retreat alone and rest, recuperate. Justice, so justice will be served in some way, shape or form in this connection, either getting what you want or just telling your truths, balance here, telling it like it is, saying, well, if you can't, keep an open mind and you don't want to work on it and move forward slowly, then I guess, you know, I'll have to sever this tie, you know, and it may hurt and you may have to recover and retreat or they may balance out the scales here and decide to work on it. But this is a single energy. So that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you could be single right now, or this could be after severing ties with this person, still being strong, stable and grounded taking care of yourself and standing on your own two feet. So, so I do feel like justice in some way will be served. Either they will decide to, you know, work on it, progress, progress it forward just a little bit, or you may decide here just to sever the tie completely because we do have um, the seven of cups here, which does speak of, um, options and decisions and daydreamy like you daydream about being with this person but they're like confused and don't know what to do I mean they, I see they want it but they're like confused and like overwhelmed but here's a brand new beginning ace of so swords uh, of victory sword of victory so there could be victory in this connection or this could be the sword that severs the ties with this person but it's truth and clarity and a big realization here. So however this resonates for you, whatever you feel like is best for you, do you cut them out or you ask them, do you want to work on it and uh, move this forward? It's totally up to you. All right. All right, so let's get some extra messages here. I mean, I do see success and victory, happiness and joy, love, passion, but I think they have fear and they're indecisive for some reason. And maybe it is because you're very different and that, I don't know, scares them or I don't know. And they just don't want to face the fact that they could actually like somebody like you. I don't know if that makes any sense. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you, Taurus. Extra messages for Taurus. All right, so spend some quality time together. It's imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with, listening and talking to each other. And then we have six and four, which is 10 endings and then one zero one new beginning so you know things could either end here with this person or you could have a brand new beginning with this person but you you need to spend some time with them and have those conversations 
listening and talking to each other definitely here treasure your loved ones it's important to love others deeply 10 again <laughs> one in zero so I don't know so I mean I mean you should really let them know how you feel and tell them how you know much you care for them and exactly how you are feeling and they may either run or they may decide to work on it I don't know here all right is there anything else for Taurus anything else for Taurus so we have 17 here have patience wow and I had said said that earlier love is patient and kind always again eight is about travel communication action taking action so definitely need to take action at least to communicate and try to figure this out have some truthful conversations here bottom of the deck 37 again with the 10 and 1 act as if your partner is here whether you have someone in your life or not act as if they are with you so you always consider them so that's kind of like doing like law of attraction kind of work with the manifesting here so I mean you may be acting like acting like they're already around you or in that sort of energy or imagining I, I feel like imagining what it would be like to be with them as we had over here with the um, where is it now the seven of cups we have the seven of cups there which is like that daydreamy um, energy so oh, let me put one of these here okay so Taurus um, I hope this resonated if it didn't you can check the description box below for past playlists and maybe something there will resonate for you I would say disregard the dates I do consider them all timeless so if something catches your eye I'd watch it anyway maybe a message in there for you and if you do like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Uh, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I do readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. So good luck to you and your love connection here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channels, as with the sun energy here, is to always, always shine your light.